Hi guys, so I've just been sitting here on this rock trying to, you know, took off my shoes, took off everything. Well, almost everything. <laughs> Enjoying this beautiful streamside atmosphere here too. The convergence of the two streams, a mountain stream there and a bigger river over here coming together. I'll have to forge and go across there in a minute. We have to do with an old bridge here. It's, it's, there was another bridge there, but it was washed out a long time ago, or this year. Not a long time ago. And I was just looking down and I noticed that I've got a friend. You see my hand here? Looks just fine. I had a leech on me earlier. It, oh, it only bit me for a while. I had lots of leeches. And then, but there's the mark. It's not bleeding too much, but there's the mark from the leech that got me earlier. And I just noticed I was feeling, I was feeling a little tingle in my hand here. And I looked at it and I opened my hand. Whoa, look at that. Right there in the webbing of my uh, hand there, there's a leech right there to, uh, taking a blood, a blood, a blood meal eating me up. And, uh, Oh, look, it's like, look, I'm showing you my ring. Look, girls, look at the ring I got that my, my, my darling gave me. Ah! <laughs> well, there's a good shot. Oh, that's kind of X-rated. Oh, gee, I can't, I can't believe I even said that. Oh. But anyway, so I'm getting, I'm getting consumed. Let's see uh, if I can pull it off. I think it's getting a good bit of blood in there. It's been eating on me for a bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off and uh, show you guys what it's like to uh, have a leech uh, pulled off and then uh, you can see how it bleeds afterward. This one that got me over here, that was on me, only on me for a very short time. I mean, less than five minutes and uh, on that spot. And this one's been on a little bit longer. So there we go, nice, nicely engorged. It's gonna suck because it's gonna bleed for a, a long time if it's been on there as long as I think it has. And this one I can actually feel, it actually hurts a little bit. So the, the coagulum must not do so well. There's a hoof, hoof, hoofed animal has been here. Some sort. See if I can figure out a good way to do this. Let's put this here. Uh, hi. Uh, cover up, man. Okay, here we go. Okay, doctor, time to perform surgery. <laughs> now, the best way to get these leeches off is to use the uh, uh, fingernail to kind of scoop underneath the uh, sucker. There's a sucker on the uh, rear part and there's a sucker on the front part there, right? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slide my finger underneath and we'll pop it right off. Here we go, let's get a close look at that. Nice, nice, very nicely. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it so you guys can see. Little gnats. Pop, right off. I got the uh, anterior sucker off. See, it's looking to go the mouth part off. So it's just looking to suck on there. Didn't, maybe it didn't actually, oh, it did get me. See, there's a little bit of blood starting to show. Can you see that? See a little, little bit right there? Tiny little bot dot and it'll grow and more blood will start coming out. And it has an anticoagulant in there. So the blood, once it starts going, once the blood starts coming out, it's gonna come out uh, in great quantities. Let's get a photo of that photo. Okay. Oh, see it sucked right back on. They'll do that. That's what the other one did. It found the hole again and just sucked right back into that same hole. And okay, here we go, Let's pop it off again. There we go. See if it'll do it again. There you go. Yep, right back on. Okay, like a, like a boomerang. Pop off the other side, and it should come off. There we go, we got the leech off on my finger, right there, my thumb. Oh, by the way, uh, I am in the mountains of Japan, if you're new to uh, to my adventures. My name is Softy Papa. My, well, my, my real name is Kurt, but I'm, here, I'm Softy Papa here. This is the Japan Southern Alps, and um, I'm in a, uh, in a in a region here. This is uh, the abandoned villages. Abandoned. Uh, I was just exploring an abandoned Shinto shrine. Shinto is the religion of Japan, and up here in this uh, woods right there, there's an abandoned Shinto shrine, uh, and there's a tori gate. You guys can just see a little bit of it. I'm walk up here barefoot. This is all, remember now Japan is mostly volcanic uh, uh, mountains, or you know, thrust up volcanic origin, and you can see, uh, so a lot, lot of uh, volcanic rocks. You can see right up there, there's a building up there. Uh, there you go. And I just made a video, a one hour hike video to get here. It took me an hour to get, I was way up there, oh no, way, I wasn't very far at all, I was up there. To get to get to the sheer cliff there, I had to hike way down there. And then up and boulder over the boulders and get up here and then climb up there and 
get all the leeches off me, you know, like the one that got me there. I had about, counted about four or five on me. And then I made it up here. Just stop and then uh, take it easy. But anyway, I live here in Japan. And I, I, whoa, I do this kind of stuff. I love adventures. I'm from the United States. And, uh, whoa, I love animals. I'm a biologist. Uh, well, I'm not a biologist, biologist, but I have a degree in biology. And I, I liken the lad likens himself a biologist. I love biology. There we go. I'm starting to bleed up a little bit. Peace, man. Reverse peace. See there. This is the, uh, these mountains are the home to the Asian giant hornet and the Japanese giant hornet. Uh, two of the largest hornets in the world, the Japanese giant hornet being the biggest hornet in the world and the most dangerous animal in Japan. They live in these mountains and uh, they kill more people in Japan than any other animal, all other dangerous animals combined, boars, bear, uh, and uh, venomous snakes. Uh, we have the mammoth, uh, pit viper up here. And those hornets kill more people than all of those uh, put together. So you have to be very careful this time of the year. The hornets are up here, they'll attack in mass, much more dangerous than these leeches. They'll just take a little bit of blood. The uh, hornets, when they attack, they go in for the kill. Uh, they release a pheromone that draws other hornets in. There can be uh, up to, you know, more than a thousand hornets in a nest, and they all come swooping, swooping in, and uh, uh, they, they, they can, uh, they, they'll, they'll kill you. <laughs> they can kill you, unless you can run like heck. See, you're doing a little pose there. There we go. So guys, that's it for now. Um, uh, this will bleed for, if you're curious, this will bleed for about uh, uh, four to six hours. This happens to me all the time when I'm in the mountains up here. This one stopped bleeding very quickly because the leech didn't have a chance to dig in too deep. This one might not bleed too long as well since I found it as well. But thanks for dropping by to have a look. Let me just uh, give you one more view of uh, where I am. Beautiful uh, mountain streams. Here we go. And uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, again, my name is Kurt and I'm happy to, uh, to, to have you along. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great day. See ya on the leech too. Bye-bye. Woohoo. See ya. <laughs>